Welcome back to your No Malarkey Guide to, um, oh, I guess, just life now. So my name is Kalu Kalu, and we're going to be doing something a bit different. In our last tutorial series, we're focusing on Django and Python and making a web app. In this tutorial series, we're going to focus on machine learning because I think that's a really the way more important thing if you're looking in tech right now. And it's artificial intelligence is the future. Machine learning is a, a subset of artificial intelligence. And really, statistical learning and understanding the mathematics behind it is crucial. So there's two ways you could be you could go about it. You could be a library programmer, a library machine learning programmer. I hesitate to say the word expert, but that just means that you know how to use some of the big important machine learning libraries to do pretty awesome and cool things. You can do that right away with very little understanding of the mathematical or statistical knowledge behind it. <coughs> so another way you can be in, in, in the field of machine learning is really understand what's going on under the hood of the algorithms you are using. So I'm saying a lot of words. If you don't understand what this means, this should be for beginners. This should be, I want this accessible to people within my community. It's going to be a huge thing, really. It's going to be big. And I do not want people from communities I'm from to miss out on this because this could be the biggest thing that humanity has ever seen. Really, like think about that. It's going to be the, the biggest thing that humanity has ever seen. We really need to be in on this, like really. So um, I want kids from, from my, my hometown of Abirba in Nigeria, kids from Aba, the city that uh, my parents and, and where we mostly uh, lived, and kids from San Antonio where I moved to since I was six and, and where I lived for about, you know, almost 20 years of my life. I want this to be accessible to these kids here um, and not just kids in the Silicon Valley or kids in Beijing in select neighborhoods, you know what I mean? So, and I also want this to be accessible to kids who are learning computer science in, in China or in India from all over the world. I hope that you guys take this opportunity to just get refreshed with the things you learned in high school. Because actually, you were pretty smart in high school. I want everyone to think that. Like, we all did a lot of work. Even the dumbest one in high school still learned a lot. So, you, we're going to refresh our memories through a lot of these algorithms that we were using in high school and, and show you how powerful they really were. With that being said, what we need to do is first install the dependencies that we need for this tutorial and, and really for machine learning in general. And that is NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. That's what we're going to do in this tutorial series. What does this mean? You don't need to worry about this because, as you know, if you've been watching my other tutorials, there's the Kalu Kalu principle of learning, and that's we believe in inductive reasoning, not deductive reasoning. We believe in a bottom up process, not top down process. We believe in learning by example and not learning by doing a whole bunch of rules. And that really just means you can think of learning as uh, uh, just focus, focusing to some stimulus, you know? And certain stimulus is only until you get a certain threshold that it makes sense, like a sentence. A sentence is just a string of stimulus. It's a string of words that you're getting inputted into your brain. But only once that sentence is complete does it make sense. It doesn't make, it doesn't make sense to start like uh, uh, excruciating or to start examining a sentence at the word by word. It's only once you hear the full sentence, like, I'm going to the dog and then I'm going to go home and eat some vegetables. It's only once you hear the full sentence. When you hear I am, you don't say I am what? I am what? Who? No, you have to wait till you hear the full sentence till it starts to make sense. So same with learning any new discipline. You can't start being too focused on what does this mean? What does that mean? What does this mean? You got to wait till you go through the, the full process till you really can understand the context of the individual pieces of what you're learning, how they're related to the full process of what you're doing. So we're going to focus on learning machine learning through a problem solving based manner. We're going to come up with a problem and we're going to figure out how we're going to uh, fix that problem. And then through that, we're going to do a whole bunch of machine learning and I guess like mathematical stuff. <laughs> and that's what we want to learn, <clears throat> which is the, the input between this like problem and solution. And then the, the, the fact that we're using machine learning or some algorithms in in between that is really irrelevant. Uh, I mean, it's very relevant, but now you should just focus on the full sentence, right? And not the individual algorithms, because that's what we did in high school. We were doing pretty awesome stuff, but we, we really didn't understand the context of what these were used for. And we all thought, when are we ever going to use this? So enough talking, let's get programming. This is the first thing we want to do is open your terminal. And we're going to do this in under a minute very quickly, because I've already talked so much in this video. You guys are tired. I promise it's going to get better. We're going to do less talking. So CD into your desktop. And once you're in your desktop, you're going to make a folder called, let's do it, let's call it linear regression. This is good. This first tutorial, we're going to talk about linear regression. Once we make this uh, folder, you see it popped up right here. We're going to CD into it. 
and then in here we're going to create a virtual environment if you don't already have virtual environment installed you can pip install it with virtual env um, with sudo pip install virtual env as, it, as you can see it's going to what oh virtual oh i spelled it incorrectly <laughs> virtual env so as you can see it's going to say that my requirement is already satisfied so if you don't have it already satisfied it's spelled like this by the way not like this like this once you have installed virtual environment, we can use this virtual env command as, as well as giving it this argument. And this argument just means that we want to make a Python 3 interpreter. We want uh, this virtual environment we're going to make, we want it to use a Python 3's interpreter. And we're going to call this, let's call it linear regression venv. And then press enter. And once we do this, it's going to create a folder called linear underscore regression underscore venv. We can do ls and we can see that we indeed do have this folder. So now that we have this folder, we're going to use this source command and we're going to find this path. Activate and we're going to press enter. So write this command and we've now activated our virtual environment. Now that we've activated our virtual environment, we can install numpy, pip install numpy. Numpy is a mathematical library that we, we're going to use a lot. After this, we're going to pip install pandas. Pandas is just a way that helps us manipulate data and, and, and it has just, yeah, manipulates data better. And then after that, we're going to install, wait for this to finish, pip install matplotlib. And matplotlib is just a way to allow you to make plots like coordinate graphs and, and, and things like that. It's pretty cool. With that being done, we are finished with this first tutorial. Thank you for your patience. I, I know that I said a lot, but this is just the, intro, uh, the introductory video just explaining a little bit of, of the way that I think and the way that I do things for some of those who are new. So again, this should be accessible for all ages, young kids, old kids, and I want this to be, I want my, my, my friends back home to be doing this, like really. So I'm calling, Josh, I'm calling you out. I want all my friends back home doing this. This is really accessible. We're gonna do a lot of fun projects. Uh, what we're gonna do in the next video is grab some data. So we're gonna solve the problem. And, and, and the problem involves the MBA. So if, if, if you guys like the MBA, it's going to be cool. And it's not all that geeky, nerdy talk. It's really just simple stuff that we all understand. Um, so I'll see you guys at the next video.